In this video, I will be showing you how you can locally install this new project SWE Agent on your local systems. SWE Agent turns LLMs into software engineering agents that can fix bugs and issues in a real GitHub repository. For now, when I'm saying LLMs, it means GPT-4 or Anthropics Cloud. SWE Agent has already shown quite a good performance on SWE Bench Testset. SWE Agent resolves 12.29% of issues, achieving state-of-the-art performance on the full testset. They have accomplished these results by designing simple LM-centric commands and feedback formats to make it easier for the LM to browse the repository, view, edit, and execute code files. They are calling it an Agent Computer Interface ACI and build the SWE Agent repository to make it easy to iterate on ACI design for repository level coding agents. Now, this is a GitHub repo of SWE Agent. It is open source and it is almost free. I am saying almost free because you would still need an API, which is a paid option either from OpenAI or from Claude. I will be using GPT-4 as a backend LM in this video. So I would need to go to platform.openai.com and get the API key from there, which is a paid option. Now, having said that, let's grab the URL of this GitHub repo. Just click on the screen button and then grab it. Now, let me go to my local system. And you can see I am using Ubuntu 22.04 on my local system. I have one GPU card of 16 GB of VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. Let me clear my screen. Now clone the repo, which is swe-agent.git. Let's wait for it to clone. And now let's get into this repo, clear the screen. Let's check the content of it. So these are all the contents which are present in this repo. Before we proceed any further, there are few prerequisites which we need to make. First and foremost, you should have Docker installed. If you don't know how to install Docker, I have a full video where I go into detail in very simple way how to install Docker and you can search the channel. You also should have Anaconda installed. Again, I have the video about it. It's very simple. I already have Anaconda installed. And of course, you should have Python and pip installed on your system. And you should have OpenAI's API key or Clots or Anthropic's API key. Once you have all of these, then let's proceed further and let's create the Conda environment which will keep everything simple. The good thing is that they have already provided this environment.jml file which is going to create the environment and it will install all the prerequisites. So let's wait for it to finish. It is installing all the dependencies. It has given me an error about the Conda's version, but that is fine. Conda's environment is created. Let's activate it. And then you will see that it is activated as you can see in this parenthesis SWE agent. Once that's done, let's run the setup.sh. So this command is uh, to create the SWE agent docker, docker image which we will be using later on. So let's press enter here. And you can see that it is building the Docker image. So let's wait for it to finish. This takes a bit of a time because there are a lot of things which are happening. And also make sure that you have uh, plenty of disk space around uh, 10 gig or so available on your uh, system. The Docker image is done. Now the next step is to create a file in the root of the GitHub repo. Let me clear the screen first, then do ls-ltr. And we need to create a file called as keys.cfg. This file contains our API key and stuff. Let's create it and then vi keys.cfg. Now here we need to specify all of our Key. So here we need to specify our OpenAI key.
I will paste my key here. I'm not going to use Anthropics API key, so it is optional. And then this is where you need to put your Git GitHub token. And I'm also going to show you where you can obtain it. So let's go to the browser. This is my github.com profile. You just can sign up with your email account. Then click on your profile photo. Click on settings. Once you click on your settings on the left hand side, click on developer settings. And then again on the left hand side, click on personal access tokens, fine grain tokens. And here, I already have created this SW agent. If you don't have it, just click on this generate new token. Then give it any name of your choice, description, and then simply cl click on generate token. That's it. And uh, you can make it public. You can make it on your own repo, but I'll, I, I'll just keep it as a default. So I already have this and I have saved uh, that one. And you, you have to save it first time otherwise you won't be able to see it next time once you create the token okay so this is our file so let me put both of these github token key and open ai's api key here and save the file and exit from here and now the next step is to run the inference on any github issue once the installation is complete so let me clear my screen and let me show you the command this is a command we use in order to run inference on any github issue simply we are calling run.py model is gpt4 and then data path is the github issue which we are trying to solve and then config file is default from url.jml which contains prompt and all that all that stuff from this repo now let me quickly show you the github issue which is being referred here so this is a github rep, uh, issue which is being referred in this one and now let me press enter here And you can see that it is loading the issue it is loading the data set and doing uh, it is it is also environment has been initialized that is good and i'll just scroll up to show you because it just went in very very quickly you can see that a lot of things have happened in since i have run the command there you go so arguments and a lot of things And it is trying to clone it and it will run for some time and then this is how you can interact with it and chat with it so according uh, i will let it run for some time but the main issue is that one more thing you need to uh, keep in focus that there are still some bugs in this one and there are a lot of things which are still in flux so for example there are some issues on ARM architecture, but on x86 it is working. And you can see that uh, there you go. So it it has been giving some of the resolutions here, taking a lot of things. And remember that it's an agent here. Awesome stuff. And you can see that it is telling us to begin addressing the issue. We should first replicate the bug and blah blah blah. So it is going step by step there are a lot of steps above if you know now you are going to solve this issue on your own your terminal session has started and then you can and you can see that it has started the terminal session where you can uh, replicate it and then you can uh, start uh, you know you know start by creating the new file which it is doing right now and then it is going and then it is telling us good data data that caused the issue it is now doing the action how good is that and be aware that it is making the open api call at the backend i'm not sure how much it is costing at the moment but it is there you go so it is doing reproduce dot bug it is reproducing that bug and I'm just letting it run raw so that you could see. And then it has also initialized this uh, tools.py as you can see here. Then it is thinking. This is awesome that it appears that it ran successfully without, without entering the error. 
and then it is doing some more stuff here wow there you go and of course you can select any github um, issue maybe a simple one to start with so that it will be easier to look at it okay so obviously you got the idea so i will cancel it here because i don't want to go bankrupt uh, okay so i have just cancelled it and i will let it run but all in all you can already appreciate that how good that is and this is a project uh, page here really good stuff and i'm very impressed by it and they also have a project page sorry as i, as I was mentioning which you can access i think from their github repo so this is a website and demo if you don't want to install it you can watch the demo here on this project page and read some of the benchmarking information and this is a creator i guess so that's it guys i hope that you liked it and if you are stuck somewhere need any other guidance let me know happy to help out if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please do me a favor and share it among your network as that helps a lot thanks for watching